Oh, Sunday scrimmage, I mean, we had a lot of energy, a lot of physicality out there flying around. Still got to uh, gotta get these young guys in their playbooks so they can improve and get better. But I mean, a lot of bright spots, but a lot of mistakes that we've made that we have to pick up on and, and learn from and move forward with. You played as a true freshman. What's kind of the struggles of picking up a playbook as a new guy during fall camp? I mean, it's, it's fall camp. It's new, it's different. Uh, you're definitely not used to it. You're a new kid coming from high school, being the biggest, baddest dude on campus, being able to do whatever you want on the field at any time. And you get here, and there's everybody that was the biggest, baddest dude at their high school as well. So you got to get out here and get us to be able to compete. So being in your playbook helps you a lot to be able to move faster and play play the way you want to be able to play. So just that, that's the extra advantage when you get to a level like this. Coach Dennison said that you learn more your first day of fall camp than you do all of high school in terms of playbooks. Is that something that you would agree with in your experience? Oh, yeah, most, most definitely. I mean, you you learn schemes, concepts, formations, different things that some high school coaches still don't know to this day. I mean, it's just how it is across the country. So you do learn a lot more than your first day of fall camp than you do in high school for most people on average. What are you seeing out of Isaac? He named you as somebody who's been helping him along so far this fall camp. And why did you laugh when I said that? Because <laughs> he's alive, man. That fool, he's he's a beast. That dude is gonna be he's gonna surprise a lot of people. I mean, he has a lot of a lot of things that he's taught me. I mean, I've watched him play because he's played linebacker for so long that I've watched his game and he's just a, a great linebacker. I mean, the dude knows how to move. He he feels the game really well. He's he's he knows his plays. He's he's, he's really surprising. Like, the dude's gonna surprise a lot of people this year, and I'm really excited for him. What did have you learn from him? What did I learn from him? Just how to take on blocks, how to slip blocks. I mean, he has his little dead arm thing that he does that I try to just emulate and try to take up and, and be a part of. But I mean, it's kind of hard to do because it's it's his natural flow. So I try to like try to see, watch film, and, and see how he does it. Did he improve fast or did he come in real good? Oh, he came in great. I mean, everybody saw from the first day that he has a natural feel for the game. And it was just the fact of him picking up the playbook and he picked it up really fast. But we had a lot of guys with a lot of depth. So we kind of just put them on the red shirt list and try to put them on ice and hold them off for a little bit. And put them on and, ice. Yeah, exactly. He's coming back this year and it's going, it's going to be a big time for him. Yeah. Now that Samson's healthy, how does he kind of factor into that depth? Ah, man, he's, he's right up there with the ones. He's running with the ones and the twos. I mean, he's rotating big time. And Samson got, got some playing time last year, did a lot of great things for us. So we're really looking forward to this year. He's going to get a lot of playing time on the field, and we're really excited for him this year. Is he one of those guys that's just kind of a natural Oh, yeah, tackler? super natural tackler, super physical, loves the game, just a natural feel for the game, just knows where the ball is at, has a nose for the ball, and he, he just loves the game, loves to play fast. What's it say about your defense that you have so many players that can move around to different positions? And you, we might see mm -hmm. some people moving in and out of the line into linebackers. What does that say about you? It, it shows versatility. I mean, it shows that a, guy, a lot of guys are willing to adapt to different situations, whether coach level wants them on the outside, wants them on the inside, wants them on the back end, wants them on the front end. Guys are uh, willing to change and, and do whatever they need for the team, and, that, and that's a big factor. So if you have guys willing to change and do what's best for the team, not just what's best for themselves, you, you can tell that you have a really good team moving into the season. Is there anybody that you're excited to see at a different position? Um, I'm really excited to see Isaac, like I said. Um, I want to see Jordan again, Austin, of course, um, all the DBs. I, I'm really excited for Ugo. I mean, the dude is just lights out, so I just want to go out, watch him go out there and do his thing this year. Uh, both corners, Thomas and Diamondor, a bunch of young guys out there getting some reps. Javon Holland, I really want to see what he can bring to the table. Guys like Nick Pickett, Steve Stevens, stuff like that. I was kind of just, excited for everybody. Really, really looking forward to this season. You just named the entire defense. Exactly. I'm just, I'm just <laughs> super excited for these guys. You guys have said that. You're farther along at this point in fall camp than last season. Do you, mm -hmm. do you agree with that? Oh yeah, most definitely. I mean, guys are more bought, more bought in at this time right now than we were last year, and it's a it's a really it's it's a cool thing to see moving forward to know that everybody's on board still, and especially when you get to this part of camp in the middle. It's the, you got to get over the hump, and it's it's really difficult, really hard because guys' body are starting to break down. You're not taking care of it the right way. Your legs are sore, really tired, really fatigued. I mean, your upper body you just don't want to go out there and, and hit the dude you've been hitting for the past 12 days. So if you can get over this hump and everybody stays on the same path. It shows a lot about your team, uh, the way they can handle adversity and handle difficult situations. How much do you attribute that to the defense being essentially the same as it was last season? Uh, I would have to say a lot. I mean, because guys are a lot more comfortable. We don't have to worry about learning a new playbook. We already have the playbook. So Coach Levin is throwing in little things here and there to help us with different checks, with, with different calls. We have double calls. We have there's different things that we can do, different checks, different alignments that we didn't have last year, but we have now this year because we have the fundamental basis of the defense this year. Uh, so we're just really excited moving forward.
at that linebacker group, you know, you've got Coach Levitt who brings that NFL experience, having coached the 49ers. You've got Coach Dennison's experience as a player being in, you know, the college game pretty yeah. recently. How does that dynamic kind of play itself out when you guys are working through things in film and in practice? I mean, uh, we have film when we're all together. I mean, you can just tell all the coaches, they all kind of just chip in here and there. That if, they, if they see something, they're going to let you know. Coach Levitt is uh, big on that. He, he doesn't, he's not a, on a super high horse where you're sitting there, Mr. I need to tell everybody what to do. I mean, he lets other coaches do their jobs and, and coach the right way. I mean, everybody works works well in that defensive meeting room, so everybody just helps everybody, and I, and I really like it. Do you hear of anything different at all at points, you know, between where Coach Levitt's coming from, from that coach's perspective, mm -hmm. and where Coach Dennison is coming from with his recent playing experience? Do those views ever diverge in the film room? Oh, yeah, most definitely. I mean, Coach Dennison always tells us different things, like, okay, like, you know, like a plunge block or something, like where to play, like how to how to take on the block, how to look at it different ways just in the Pac-12, because he played in the Pac-12, so just different things like that. And Coach Levitt just gives us the grand scheme of things in the NFL basis, and so we try to just use both things and, and really apply them into our game. But like you said, it's, it's kind of cool to have two different two different viewpoints on, on the game because you have a, a newer guy who just who like you said just played like six seven years ago or whatever it was being able to, to get the get the knowledge from him is great and still have a dude that's been coaching for 40 years and and get the knowledge out of him is fantastic coach Cristobal has been shuffling up the offensive line a bit and a warm Akin Sewell, two new mm -hmm. guys have been going. Have you gone against them? And if so, what what's your impressions of, of those two new guys? I mean, I've gone against everybody. Like you said, Coach, uh, Chris Ball's doing a great job of mixing up the offensive line, but those two guys work well together on the line that I can tell. Uh, Dallas has a great feet. He's, he's great on pool. He's very physical. He gets around. Uh, he's always square. He's always doing his things right. Uh, Panay has a lot of great hands. He's strong, physical. He's a, he's a great freshman. I mean, coming out of the incoming freshman doing things he does is just phenomenal. I mean, he he's, has a really bright future here. So, I mean, they, they really have a uh, they have room to improve, as everybody does on the team, but we're really excited with, with the play that they're providing for us right now.